In this video, we're going to explore how we can always maintain a space between the top bar of the bar area and the grid line, even if we keep on adding up. As you can see, if I click on it, I keep on clicking on it, and no matter what happens, we always have a so-called grace area between there. And this can be very useful because this is especially important if you will have, for example, an image on top here for your, for your bar chart. So let's start to explore how we can do this right now. In this video, we're going to focus on how to add space between the bar and the upper grid line in Chart.js. So this is a very useful feature, or at least if you're going to do something very specific. So first of all, let me show you when, when it becomes very useful, because when I saw it in the beginning, I couldn't figure it out until I start to put in uh, images on top of a bar. So what is happening here? When you put an image on top of a bar, it will start to become bigger, and sometimes you might hit the very top. And what you want to avoid in that case is to create a so-called grace area or a trench. So the bar will never hit beyond a certain level. So it will not uh, cover the legend text. So let's start to explore how we can do this. So to do this, first of all, you have to go to charges3.com getting started. And if you see this here, don't worry. For some reason, Google Chrome is giving me error. It also has on Stack Overflow or on Vue.js, Vue so why? I don't know. However, go on this website, and then you can copy this chunk of code because this is the item we need the code. And then if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this specific video here. So then what we're going to do is here, we're going to paste this in here. And once we paste this in here, I'm going to move up this or change this, put it in there. Save that refresh all right so now we have this as you can see here now we have this area here and it will hit the very top and you can imagine if you have an image here on top that's all right but if it goes up here it becomes a problem so let's change this here if i would do this one you can imagine here it will be all 18. So if i refresh here then we have this and then what would happen if you would increase it if i do 21 here and save and refresh you'll see we get now a default grace area and the reason why this happens is basically because we have here the brackets of the grid line it's a, a interval of five so if this would be 25 it will hit the very top again so let's change this and there you are you can see now it hits the top so what we want to do is we want to make sure that we always have a space here between so it will never hit this especially if you have an image so what we're going to do in here, in the y-axis, all we need to do here is something very simple. Comma, we say grace, and that's basically it. And then we can say here, the value or how much uh, space will we put between there. Let's say 5%. If we save this now, there will be a 5% space area or somewhere between the 5% of this, which would be 3 plus. In this case, it will uh, match along with the... Uh, uh, the lines here, the ticks. So that's why you have like five instead of maybe three percent, five percent of twenty-five would be two and a half, or no, or something like that. Uh, probably even lesser, below two and a half. So uh, that will basically be the space here. But now you can see this is fine. And if we would change here, this if what happened if I do eighteen now here, save that, refresh. And then you can see here now it will work here with two and a half. This is just basically 10%, it's two points, but that's all right as well. So it will match with the grid lines here, but it will always be aligned here nicely. So if I change this again, let's make this uh, nine, nine, and here nine, nine, and let's see what we are get. There we are, we have 10, all right. So if I put one on 10, what will happen now is if I save this, Refresh, you can see here it keeps always a bit of space, which is very, very useful when you're playing with images. So this is one of the very useful items. If you're interested in even more items, first of all, I would highly recommend you check out this one, how to add the image on top of a bar, because this is basically really directly connected with this specific video here.